Rogan recently provoked Mike Tyson during an interview, causing Tyson to lose his composure. As anticipation builds for the November 15th showdown between Tyson and Jake Paul at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, many are leaning towards Paul for the win. USC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier, however, has issued a stark warning. Tyson might very well end Paul's boxing career. Despite Tyson's legendary status, his health at 58 remains a concern, especially after nearly two decades out of the ring and facing an opponent 30 years younger. The fight was initially scheduled for July 20th, but was postponed due to Tyson's stomach ulcer. Cormier argues that while a win for Paul might not tarnish Tyson's legacy, a Tyson victory could significantly impact Paul's career. On a recent episode of the Funky Podcast, Roken suggested Tyson could still deliver a knockout blow despite his age. Cormier agreed to some extent, acknowledging Tyson's power but pointing out Paul's youthful stamina. He warned that if Paul were to lose, it could seriously damage his credibility, especially given his efforts to separate himself from influencer boxing. Tyson's former sparring partner, Joe Egan, has expressed skepticism about the fight's seriousness, suggesting it might be more of a high-profile sparring session. Egan noted that while Tyson's power is still formidable, he restrained himself in his previous fight against Roy Jones Jr. Despite this, Egan believes Tyson could pull off an upset, given his past intensity in the ring. The bout, now officially sanctioned as a professional heavyweight match by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, allows knockouts, though Egan doubts this will be necessary. He expects the match to be more of a spectacle than a serious competition, similar to Tyson's recent exhibition against Jones Jr. Egan, who trained for two years with a young Tyson at the famous Catskill Gym, pointed out that Jake Paul likely played as Tyson in video games, and now he's stepping into the ring with a real legend. He warned Paul to enjoy the moment but not push his luck, as Tyson could still knock him out. Despite the fight's professional status, there are adjustments to the rules. Eight two-minute rounds, heavier 14-ounce gloves, and no headguards. On one side, we have Tyson, the former undisputed heavyweight champion who knocked out 19 opponents in the first six rounds early in his career. On the other side is 27-year-old Paul, who has only had 11 professional bouts, mostly against novice boxers or MMA fighters. Although Paul has improved, his experience might not be enough to handle a challenge like Tyson. Former WBO world champion Joseph Parker also weighed in, expressing concerns that the significant age difference could make the fight difficult to watch. While Parker acknowledged Tyson's legendary status and power, he pointed out that at 58, Tyson is much older for a fighter and Paul's youth gives him an advantage. Parker also noted that while Tyson's short clips look impressive, they don't show the whole picture, making the outcome uncertain. Awful boxing and awful big fights, but Mike Tyson is a legend and no matter how great he was in the past with the ferocious style that he had and punches that he thrown and knocking everyone out, 58 years old is, is, is old for a fighter and Jake Paul has the youth on the side and with each fight he is getting better and better, so it's, it's just I think it's a hard fight to watch. It will be a hard fight to watch because you just don't want to see Mike. If, if Mike comes out and knocks him out, then we're going to be like, listen, he's, you know, so the power, I think, is the last thing to go. But at 58 years old, how much power is left? And, you know, we do see short clips, but you're right, we're not sure what happens before and after those clips. Yeah. So, um, just, I don't know, we'll see. Mike Tyson's upcoming fight with Jake Paul is less about proving himself as a fighter and more about delivering entertainment. At this stage of his career, Tyson's legacy is secure, and this bout is a blend of nostalgia and spectacle. Despite his age, Tyson is dedicated to his training and is also finding joy in the process. On a recent episode of Logan Paul's Asterisk Impulsive Asterisk podcast, Tyson revealed that he uses psilocybin mushrooms as part of his regimen, saying, I have to take them when I train. I always train with my mushrooms. He explained that they make him feel beautiful and enhance his training experience. Tyson's use of psychedelics is not new. He previously discussed his experiences with the psychoactive properties of the Sonoran Desert Toad, which led him to deep philosophical insights. Regarding his fight with Jake Paul, Tyson mentioned he wouldn't be under the influence of psilocybin during the match, but didn't rule out having residual effects. As Tyson approaches 60, he shows no signs of slowing down. 
This fight will be his first professional bout since his 2022 exhibition with Roy Jones Jr., although Tyson's last competitive fights ended in losses nearly two decades ago. This matchup with Paul is more about entertainment than competition. Jake Paul, now 27, has a record of 11 fights with only one loss to Tommy Fury and is focused on pursuing high-profile lucrative events. Mike Tyson remains confident about his upcoming fight with Jake Paul, even hinting at the possibility of a rematch. Tyson remarked, Two men are going to fight, someone is going to win, they might fight again, and then they go to their separate banks, and life goes on. This sentiment mirrors Paul's career trajectory, as he previously fought Tyron Woodley twice, securing a knockout in their second encounter. Concerns about Tyson's health have been voiced within the boxing community, particularly after he had to postpone the fight due to medical issues. Jake Paul's mother, Pam Stepnick, has expressed worry about the bout, especially after seeing Tyson's intense training footage. Despite Paul's reassurance that his family supports him, his mother remains apprehensive about him facing a boxing legend like Tyson. Paul, however, exudes confidence. His boxing career has been financially rewarding, and he views this fight as a stepping stone to even greater opportunities. The WBA has suggested that Paul might face Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. for a title in the future, though he also has commitments with the PFL. With an estimated $40 million payday from the Tyson fight, Paul's total boxing earnings could near $100 million, a significant achievement for someone who began as a YouTuber just four years ago. Joe Rogan, during a podcast conversation with actor Russell Crowe, acknowledged concerns about Tyson's age, but emphasized that Tyson is no ordinary 58-year-old. Rogan noted that Tyson's unique prowess could still result in a knockout capable of sending someone's head into another dimension. In the end, this fight blends spectacle, nostalgia, and strategic risks for both fighters. Tyson's legacy is well established, while Paul continues to advance his unconventional boxing career, with this matchup poised to be a historic event. Originally scheduled for July, but Mike Tyson had to withdraw due to a medical emergency. Now, the boxing legend and former heavyweight champion has been cleared and is back in the gym, preparing for his ring return. After Tyson's withdrawal, Jake Paul fought and defeated BKFC celebrity Mike Perry in the sixth round. USC analyst Joe Rogan believes that Jake Paul is an underrated boxer. He posed the key question of whether Tyson, at his age, can catch a 28-year-old fighter who is in the prime of his career and winning legitimate boxing matches. Rogan noted that Paul has been defeating former USC champions, including Tyron Woodley, and had a strong fight against Tommy Fury, a legitimate boxer. Recently, Paul also defeated Mike Perry, a bare-knuckle champion. Rogan emphasized that Jake Paul is a real fighter with proven skills, and if he faces Tyson, it will be challenging to predict the outcome if Tyson struggles to have shared his thoughts on the upcoming Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul bout, expressing genuine intimidation by Tyson's prowess as a fighter. Crow, who portrayed heavyweight boxer James J. Braddock in the Oscar-nominated film Asterisk, Cinderella Man Asterisk, admitted his fear of Tyson, stating, I was terrified of him as a boxer. He was terrifying even when I met him backstage at a stadium. I'm still terrified of you. Crow voiced his concern about Tyson's decision to return to the ring, questioning if it was necessary for the legendary fighter. The bout between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson has faced criticism from fans and analysts, with many arguing that the 30-year age gap gives Paul an undue advantage. Despite being 58, Tyson remains a prominent figure in discussions about the fight. Former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou, who trained with Tyson for his bout against Tyson Fury, believes Tyson still has what it takes to beat Paul. Ngannou remarked, Tyson will still beat him up. He's definitely not as good as he was when he was young, but when he moves around you, you're like, what the hell is this? The fight, originally set for July, was delayed until November due to Tyson's health issues. The matchup has generated significant buzz, with Joe Rogan, a veteran UFC commentator, firmly backing Tyson. However, Chel Sonnen, a prominent UFC legend, has challenged Rogan's prediction. Sonnen, on his YouTube channel, questioned the validity of Rogan's claim that Tyson, even at 57, could deliver a knockout. Sonnen argued that there is no scientific proof that a fighter's power is the last skill to deteriorate suggesting Rogan's statements are speculative. 
Sonnen's skepticism reflects growing concerns about Tyson's prospects against Paul. Tyson, irritated by the scrutiny of his health, has issued a stern warning to those doubting his ability to prevail against the YouTube star turned boxer. During his appearance on Logan Paul's Asterisk Impulsive Asterisk podcast, Mike Tyson took the opportunity to deliver a stern message to his critics. Describing Paul as a killer, Tyson expressed unwavering confidence in his ability to win. He challenged anyone doubting his readiness to confront him in person, staking, if you think I'm too old for this fight, you need to come and tell me to my face. While giving a piercing glare at one of the cameras, it briefly seemed like Tyson might lose his temper, but the tension soon eased, and the podcast concluded with everyone smiling. Tyson's combative demeanor, however, remains unsettling. Coach Robert Garcia, who has trained two-time heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua and pound-for-pound -pound star Jesse Rodriguez, 